The world is my canvas, my camera is my paintbrush, and the editor is my paint. Welcome to the documentary of a film artist. Day 12. All right, so I'm gonna try my best to show you guys how I do my chops and some of my music video, how it chops real fast and stuff like that. I'm using this, my monitor as my view for my main live view of the feed of the music video and then also for my uh, angle, angle viewer, which allows me to chop to whatever angle I wanna chop to inside that in particular part of the timeline. Um, and then I'm using this, my, mon my uh, laptop down here. Let me go down. Use my laptop down here just for the media library and stuff like that. You can do it either or. You can put this at the top and put this at the bottom. Or you can put keep all this at the top, the timeline and all this stuff at the top. And keep everything else on the MacBook. So, um, yeah, man. That's what I love about having a laptop and, you know, things of that nature. Use it as an external monitor. Or, and I used to monitor as an external monitor. So, um, yeah, man. So, I'm sure you guys how I do my chops. So it's super easy. It's just all about your ear. It's all about hearing. You know, um, you gotta really time it. You gotta zoom in to the timeline tight. Like you gotta zoom in all the way. Press this little zoom, little uh, zoom icon down there, or the shortcut keys. So right there, I'm gonna zoom in to me chopping it real fast, and then I'm gonna zoom back out to what I did just so you guys can see the chops because these little in, little teeny tiny lines right here help you out too when you zoom in all the way you can see these lines those lines that will appear and that allows you to set the distance of how much you want to how fast you want it so I'm about listening to the same part over and over let me go back a little bit just so I can see all the way up to that point real fast so I'm gonna zoom back out real quick. Just want y'all to see what I got so far and how I chopped it so far. I'm not gonna chop it on every single uh, every single beat that chops and stuff. But I'm gonna pop up other images. Like I said, over here is the, it's called the angle viewer, and this is where you can see all the different camera angles that I shot, and I can click on this, and then it pop in on the timeline right when I click on it. But we ain't gonna pop none of that stuff in right now. The king is coming back. The remnant will survive. When that trumpet go, we'll meet them in the clouds. Written down in the Bible. Check it out. I'm about to throw a party for all my family. Do it for the martyrs, cause they can't rest in peace. This is extreme editing right here, where you where you chopping a lot of stuff together to the beat, and it puts a lot on your uh, PC. You want to do this first before you do your color grading, because if you do your color grading first, then you know you know how editors are. They start to skip, you know, and it doesn't affect the video, but it affects your editing. Like it's hard to tell if you're chopping it at the right part because it's going so slow inside the editor. So let me see. Please. I'm gonna do every other line because it's not a fast chop. It's not a fast beat. Please. You know, dit, dit, dit. And then once I so I got some chopped right now. I got some split right now. Should I say? Please. I'm gonna put it at the end of my last one and see if it still make a sound after that. Okay, it makes one more sound. So I'm gonna put one more line, chop it one more time. Then I go to the scene that I wanna put in there. I say I wanna chop this with that. This little, ooh, you, can, you guys can see that, hold on, my bad. Let's say I want to chop this scene up here inside those little lines that I did. So basically what I would do is I would go to the beginning of the first chop, click that, like I said, it clicks and it pops that in. And then it's every other one, you know, you don't want to put it on the next one because it's going to just be a continuation clip. So I'll do that. 
go to the next one, bam, skip this one, go to the next one, bam, skip this one, and go to the next one, bam. But let's see how that looks. Okay, one more time. But that's what I don't want to do though. I was just showing you guys a demonstration. What I want to do is, what I plan on doing on this part right here is going to my um, effects browser and then go to distortion and then flip, which is it flips the uh, angle of that scene. And I'm gonna flip every other one. It's kind of like how I did, well it's not kind of exactly what I did over here where I flipped this. One more time. That's all it is, the flips all. Doo -doo -doo. It just flips back and forth like that. <clears throat> it's a nice little effect, so I'm going to do that up here. Flip every other one, drag and drop the flip effect, boom. Go to the next one, or the, the, the one after the next one, boom. Skip one, go to this one, boom. And then let me see something. I'm going to do one more up here. One more split. Can I see how that looks? Yeah, I like that. Let's see, go back and watch it again. Watch it again. I'll be watching the same part over and over and over now. Editing is no joke. See if he points up in the air on another part. Okay, this is gonna be. Oh no, it's on that part. I like that. I like the point right here. Let me see. I'm pop that in. Now these are tiny chop. You hit a little, like you know, that's like super close. The closest you can uh, chop them. So you want to go to, you want to chop it on every line. Let me zoom in on that. I was gonna actually let me know if you guys want me to do a like a whole entire. I might even do a live stream of me editing a music video, but that's gonna be like a five-hour live stream, and that's not. Even, I won't even complete the video in five hours. That's not even enough time. Like I. The shortest I spent editing a video is probably six and a half hours. At the most, 15 hours, and the average is about eight hours. Seven to eight hours it takes me to edit a music video, and I I put it on I edit on side one day, but I take a few breaks and stuff in between. And the time flies. It don't seem like I'm be editing for that long until I look at the clock. I'm like, damn. Started at freaking what nine o'clock in the morning is like freaking in the afternoon. But uh, so uh. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay, yeah, yeah, you guys can see the line. So uh, every line right here, boom, boom, boom. And it's going to automatically, the blade is going to automatically stop on the line. So you don't have to worry about accidentally chopping in between the lines because you're zoomed all the way into the timeline. So there's no such thing as accidentally not chopping the, on the line. It's going to be on the line exactly. Like I said, go to the end of your chop to see if it still makes that noise. Okay, it still makes it, so chop a few more. Boom, boom, boom. I'm doing it using a blade. Okay, it still makes it a little bit more. Go to the last one. Okay, one more. I'm put one more right there. Boom. Alright, so from America, when he points down on the green screen. From America. Boom. And then now what you can do is, to make it more easier, because now, instead of you clicking... Instead of me going and clicking on the scene and then click on this, instead of me using the mouse pointer to click on each one, every other one of these, and then going back up here to click on the scene I want, I can just do this, which is super easier. Let me undo that chop. Or that, uh... So right now I'm in front of the scene right now, but I'm doing. Put the, I'm gonna put the blade on this right here. I got the blade. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I got the little blade on here ready to chop that scene in 
and I got my hand on the on the, uh, MacBook on the arrow key pointing forward. Now what I want to do is click that, and how, to, how I go to every other one, I just click two times on the arrow key. One, that's that scene, and then two, that's the very next one. So it's every other scene. You know what I'm saying? That scene, skip one, cut that one in, skip one. I want to skip that one so it's one, two, split, one, two, split, one, two, split, one, two, split. Now let me show you in action. So you guys are going to be able to see that. Let me zoom all the way out like that. All right. So this kind of sounds confusing for non editors, but you know, it's super easy. Well, it's easy, but it's tedious. Bam, click that scene in on the arrow key to the right. One, two, bam, one, two, bam, one, two, bam, one, two, bam, one, two, bam. One, two, bam. Boom. But I don't want it to end on that scene last. So I'm going to actually undo that. Command Z. Chop one more in. Boom. And then click that scene in. I see what we got. Click A to go back to the regular uh, mouse pointer instead of uh, still having the blade. There you go. See that? I'll at least will watch the same part at least 15 times, 10 to 15 times, just to make sure I really like it. And then I will go to other scenes to make sure I don't want to chop some other scene inside there instead of that. And if I do want to chop a different scene in, Command Z, Command Z, Command Z, Command Z, Command Z, Command Z, Command Z to undo all that and then chop something else in. So editing is what you're paying for mostly when you're doing it, when somebody uh, doing a video for you. A lot of people don't understand that the editing is really time consuming, especially when you get to the different color effects and stuff like that, different looks, and then um, you get to the uh, color grading and stuff, you want to add color grading and all kind of stuff like that, and you know, I'm just messing around right now, that's not what I'm going to have it look like, but you know, the scene is actually going to be a silhouette, so I'm going to darken the uh, shadows and stuff like that. But anyways, man, like I get the point. And then when you're doing a music video, this is, you don't actually edit, you don't click on here and edit the video clips like that. You actually go here and edit one whole scene at a time. Click on that, you edit this scene, click on that, you edit this scene, which is way more easier than trying to go here and click on each one of these scenes and edit one at a time and stuff like that. Like, because when you, when you go here and how you get, how you make it look like this, how you got all these scenes lined out and stuff like that, it's simple, it's super simple. You go down here. See, when, when it comes to editing, it's all about once you learn it, then you got it. It's no longer, you're no longer going slow. You're moving super fast, but you click on here on your multicam clip right here. You just double click that and it's going to pop in. It's going to pop it in. You double click it. So once I double clicked it, it pops it up here, right here. And all I gotta do is scroll up and down. I see all my stuff. And then if it's if this is too skinny for you, this is not it doesn't really bother me. But if it's too skinny for you, then you can even uh, take this and lift this up. But that's it's gonna make that smaller. It's gonna make your screen smaller or whatever. But you're gonna be able to see way more right here and stuff. Even when you go back to your timeline you're going to be able to see more uh, vertically. So if you got a lot of stuff stacked on top of each other, a lot of scenes stacked on top of each other, then, you know, it'd be good for you to just make that screen small and so you'll be able to see all your stuff and stuff like that. But that's not an issue for me right now. I'm just editing this one little skinny track and, yeah, I'd rather be able to see my screen so I can know exactly what I'm looking at and how the scene is going to look. Versus seeing a lot of my editing track up and down. I don't got a lot of stuff stacked on top of each other in no way. Except for in the beginning where I got um, these scenes. Hold on, let me go back to the beginning. I got these uh, scenes, B-roll scenes that I shot stacked on top of here. And I got it slowed down and stuff like that. And then I'm zoomed in, but this is how it looks. Zoomed out. 
and then when you zoom out that's regular right there so this is how a regular track look without it being zoomed in and as you can see you see these little tiny lines those those chops we were doing when we were zoomed in that's what i did earlier when i was zoomed in to the timeline those are little teeny tiny lines and if you watch that that's those little lines we've been I've been chopping so you're zoomed in so much that it looks like let me zoom back in so you guys can see what I'm talking about See, these are little, little teeny tiny lines, but when you zoomed in so much, it seemed like they're not little. It seemed like uh, the chops are bigger, but they're not. These are little teeny tiny lines. I'm just zoomed in so much. Oh, you guys can't even see it. I'm just zoomed in so much. It just makes those lines look bigger. Those little segments between the chops look big, but they're really not. They're really super teeny, teeny tiny small lines. You know, it's, all this is one frame. Most of these are one frame and two frames. Let me show you about the end of this video real quick, but that's one frame. Each one of those those flickers, that's one frame at a time. And then, that's two frames right there. So each one of those, do, 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 that's two frames. So it's one, two. So if you want to make a two frame split, boom, boom, forward two times on the arrow key. Cut that and then boom boom, cut that, boom boom, cut that, or if it's one frame, one cut, one cut, one cut, one cut. How far am I into the edit? Let me see. So I'm only 40 seconds in and just by me making this video I've been editing with you guys for about, I don't know how long this video is so far, about 5 minutes five six seven minutes and you can I, I know you can tell how long it'll take just to edit an entire four minute video you know I forgot what I calculated I think every 10 seconds of editing a music video is about 30 minutes no it's somewhere around like every 10 seconds is 10 minutes something something like that depending on what you're doing I still got to do the color grading and stuff like that so I'll be doing that tomorrow and I'll be taking my laptop to work and edit it on my lunch break for an hour. An hour is nothing when it comes to editing, dude. One hour, like, <laughs> one hour inside editing time is five minutes. That's because that's what it feels like. You only got like, you only do about five minutes for the work it feels like in an hour. So, you know, five or ten minutes, that's what it feels like. So one hour, one hour, I mean, it takes me a damn hour and a half just to get the intro. Just, just for this intro alone took me about an hour, like over an hour. You gotta look, you gotta study it and look at, you know, even when it comes to his legs, like let me, let me, uh, I know I'm making this video kind of long, let me uh, go click on this real fast, get up, oops, let me do that. Show you guys something real quick. Put that back to 100, boom. And I'm changing that to uh, opacity. So you can better see through it. I got to set to 50% so you can see through it and see the scene up under it. You know, let me zoom in so you guys see what I'm talking about. So, you're able to see this scene, wherever's up under this scene. If I got this set to 50% opacity, that means you can see whatever's up under it. You can see the green screen scenes up under it, which is which I, which I want to do on purpose. That's why you can see that little scene up under there. But I'm going to go over here and, uh, change the opacity to 100 so it can just be a normal scene so it won't be see-through anymore so uh even i went to the i even go to the fine detail of hold on give me a second the reason why it took me an hour to do this intro is because i went to the fine detail of even when he's walking when I'm changing scenes, this is two different shots I did. I mixed them together and chopped them and stuff. So he's walking slow motion. Now, as he swing his right leg, I gotta match it up perfectly to where, see where he's picking up his uh, right leg off the ground. Boom! I gotta make sure when I switch to that scene that I got a close up of that he's swinging that leg as if there's two cameras filming. 
when there's only one camera. So if I actually take that fade out, it looks more natural, like, you know, like there's a camera that captured, like, you know, it's switching between cameras, cutting between cameras. You know, take that out too. Boom. So it actually looks like he's continuing to walk while the camera is switching from ultimate, uh, not ultimate, but uh, various cameras. He'll switch back to that camera, boom. As if the camera is, as if he's more further up now or something like that. Then again, he's picking up his right leg. Oh, come on. And, you know, you see, also I, on this scene, I had it, I matched it up to where, you know, he's actually using that leg when it goes to that scene. So I go, if I do something like, let me, let me give you guys a demonstration, show you how awkward it would look if I'm making him use, move his left leg on this scene instead of his right leg to continue, to continue the scene off. So, see, he just got done stepping with the left leg, and he's about to swing the right leg, but once he switched to this scene, he actually just got done stepping with the right leg, and then about to swing, I mean the left leg, and then about to swing the right leg right now, so it's kind of off, you know what I'm saying? And I don't mind moving all this stuff around, because Command Z is your best friend, boom, 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 just Command Z, Command Z, Command Z, Command Z, that's all I gotta do. Yeah, man, hard at work right now, and got to get ready for actual my nine to five, my other nine to five, or whatever you want to call it. You know, in a few hours, handful of hours, and you know, so I'm gonna put this to rest in a little bit, do a couple more things, and then you know, close this up, and then bring my laptop to work with me and do some more editing, and then come home in the morning, go to sleep, drop my son off at school, and wake up and finish the chopping and stuff like that, add some color correction and correction, and then I should be done by Saturday, which is the day after tomorrow. So um, I've been learning how to get myself rest because I can do all this right now and get the whole video done in another three hours and I'll be done. But I've been learning how to like just give myself time to relax. You know, don't don't try and and it's not. I've been realizing that it's more better that it's much more better for me to take my time. I always have took my time editing music videos. Don't get me wrong, but just extend it. You know, don't. You know, do the chopping of the videos one day and do the color grading another day and do the text and stuff and the, and the credits and stuff another day. You know, I mean, because I can do it. It's no, it's no biggie for me, but, like, I realize that sometimes you don't realize how much stress you're putting on your body. You know, it's like, it's like it's, there's two of you. There's your creative side of yourself that really want to get it done because you're so excited to see how it looks. So I'm excited, too, as much as the person is. But then there's the part of your body that's saying, like, chill. And you don't feel that. It's like being thirsty, but your stomach... Have you, ever been, have you ever been thirsty and your stomach was super full, but you're still thirsty? It's like, I'm thirsty, damn it, but my stomach is like, feel like it's about to burst. That's kind of how, how it is. Like, I don't be feeling tired because I, I just... I mean, I be inside my creative zone, but once I do sit, sit back and take a break, then that's when I realize how tired I was or how much I should have took a break, break, even though... It's, it's, like I said, it's no big deal, but, you know, it's just I learned how to... And then people... people then also when it comes to people, they expect you to do it it's like one day all the time. So that's another reason why I've been chopping it up and breaking it up in multiple days. I'm like, you know what? The, the demand on me to do it inside one day is going to be always like that. So I'm going to try and settle myself down and, and, you know, let myself know. Just chill, you know. You can, you can take your time with it, you know. You can take long if, You can take long if you want to, you know. That's what it's about. It's about taking long if you want to. You know, because it is a music video, it is extreme editing, and there's nothing wrong with taking a long time to edit a video. And I always felt like I wanted to do it all right then and there, just to get it done, and just, to make, just because I'm excited to see. But, yeah, sometimes, I got to, so that's my little thing I be telling people. When it comes to videos, it takes creativity, time, patience, money, and rest. You know, that's another thing I added to it, rest. From I'm getting texted up the storm. Yeah. Alright people, so thank you guys for watching this little video. Thank you guys uh, for supporting and subscribing for the new subscribers out there. I really appreciate it and I'm out. Peace.